Writing content doesn't guarantee traffic, but watching this video will help you avoid that trap. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to break down the content marketing trap, why writing content can drive zero traffic. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Just writing content isn't enough. You need to focus on keywords that are popular and go super in depth. And more importantly, you need to focus on content clusters or topic clusters and not just keywords. So for example, if you wanted to rank for SEO like I do, I don't just write on SEO and have one article around it. I write on SEO, page speed, I would talk about link building, on-page SEO, Google Search Console. Even if some of those keywords don't get as much traffic, you need to cover that whole topic and be super thorough. Nowadays to Google, short content and underdeveloped shallow content isn't that great. And you'll find that those pieces of content don't rank well. Hence, high quality long form content wins over thin content hands out. Now this doesn't mean that you need to write 3,000 word articles at minimum or 5,000. If someone's looking at a topic like how to tie a tie, do you really think they wanna read 3,000 words? No, they just want some animated GIF or some video that shows how to tie a tie and that's it. But you could have videos and animated GIFs and even some small amounts of text on how to tie a tie, how to tie a Windsor knot, how to tie a double Windsor knot. I don't even know if that exists, but you get the point. You would want to break down every way to tie a tie um, to even breaking down how to tie a skinny tie, how to tie a thick tie. Because by being super thorough and covering every version of that topic, you're more likely to rank better. So how do you find these clusters and keywords that you can use? Well, what I want you to do is first, go to Ubersuggest and type in your competitor's URL. In the left-hand navigation, you'll see an option that's called Top Pages. This will show you the top pages for your competitors, and that'll give you some ideas of topics that they're ranking for. On that page, Ubersuggest will break down the keywords that drive all those visitors. So now you got your topic and the keywords that drive those visitors, and you'll also see the backlinks and the people linking to that page. That'll give you a start. Now, if that page on your competitor site is really popular, but the intent of those keywords and the content doesn't match with the product or service that you're selling, don't copy it. Don't try to one-up them and create a better version of it. Make sure you focus. The next strategy is to use a keyword ideas report within Ubersuggest. So you're already on Ubersuggest. Type in a keyword related to your industry. So for me, it may be digital marketing. And then on the left-hand navigation, I'll click on keyword ideas. And when I'm on this page, I will look and click for keywords I can rank for. It's a button. If you don't see it, you need to log in. What Ubersuggest will do is break down all the likely list of keywords that you could potentially rank for based on your site and how Google views your site. So that way, you're not wasting your time trying to rank for all these keywords that you have a slim chance for. Now in the long run, as you build up your authority and you get more popular, you'll see that this report will change and you'll see more and more keywords. But first, start off with the keywords within that report that are a potentially good fit for your business in which the intent matches up with the products and services you're selling for, but you can also end up ranking for. In essence, they need to be really relevant for your business and I can't emphasize that enough because what a lot of people make the mistake for is just going after keywords that can drive a lot of traffic versus driving relevant traffic. Just because you get 100,000 visitors from a keyword but zero sales, did you do a good job? Not really, you need to focus on conversions and I recommend that you set up goal tracking and conversion tracking within Google Analytics so then that way you'll know what keywords and topics are doing the best for you so you can create more content around those topics so then you're not wasting your efforts and money on keywords that are irrelevant for your business. No matter what you do with your content, if you end up creating amazing content and no one reads it or sees it, it doesn't matter, even if you're using all the right strategies. So what I want you to do in Ubersys is look at the backlinks opportunity report. So if I create an article on SEO and I Google that term, I know on page one there's search engine landed, Moz, and a few other sites. I would put in those URLs into the backlinks opportunity report. 
And then I would put in my article URL into the backlinks opportunity report. And you want to use the exact URL filter in the backlinks opportunity report because when you do this, it'll show you who's linking to your competitor's page that's very similar to yours, but not yours. Because if someone links to two, three, four of your competitors and they don't link to you, chances are they're willing to link to you as well. But on the flip side, links, as you know, is a big factor in Google's algorithm. If you start reaching out to people who don't link to any of your competitors and you ask them to link to you because you want more links, you're probably not gonna get those links and you're gonna have to send out tons of emails and try to convince a lot of people and very few people are gonna link back out to you. The other thing that you need to do is make sure that your site is buttoned up. No matter how good your content is and if you build links, but your site isn't buttoned up in which there's a lot of errors and Google can't crawl your site or there's issues with your site, you're not gonna rank well. So on the left side of Ubersys, there's a site audit report. It breaks down all the SEO errors that your site may have. What I want you to do is go into the errors and look at them, all the critical ones or the suggested ones, and look at them from top to bottom. The ones at the top typically will have the biggest impact on your rankings and traffic, and those are the ones you should do first and work your way until you finish the last one on the list. And then as you fix them, make sure you click the recrawl button within Ubersuggest on that site audit report, and it'll double check to make sure you fixed it right, so then that way you know everything's buttoned up. Now, if you need help with your SEO, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to help. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell the people about it. Thank you for watching.